In this video, I'm gonna go over my number one writing tip, which allowed me to self-publish over 300,000 words in just two years. All this technique takes is a little bit of willpower and 15 minutes of your day. 15 minutes and you'll be easily cranking out 500, 1,000, 2,000 words plus every single day. I know what you're thinking, YouTube. You're thinking, nah, nah, no one can publish that. No one can publish that amount of words in just two years. Not someone talking to me on YouTube with a hat like this and a fern like this. And those 350,000 words, that equates to two novels, one collection of short stories and novellas, one collection of short stories and novellas, and one novella. As you can see, I still have many more things to do here. In case you haven't noticed by now, my name is Jay Dartmoor. I'm a dark fantasy and horror writer, and I'm working a little bit on some crime fiction too. If you want to be welcomed into my nightmare, and you want to learn how to write as fast as I do, and as often as I do, then please, give me one of them bad boys, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Now, if you're ready, my number one writing tip is write the book. But, but YouTube, don't think I've swindled you there. There is a technique and a, a way how you do this. And how I managed to execute these word counts is something called writing sprints. I have spoken about this technique on other videos because it's something which is so simple, but yet not a lot of people do. But by using these techniques, I managed to publish books, I managed to write blog posts, I managed to do content creation, I managed to do website content, as well as a plethora of other things. But honestly guys, it's so, so simple to do and I'm going to break it down into five simple steps for you. So the first thing, what you need to do, and please guys, trust me on this, it's number one for a reason, is you need to get out of your own head. You need to get out of your own head and stop thinking that what you need to write first time is perfect. It definitely won't be perfect and it probably won't be that good either. You are, your first draft is basically vomiting on a page. Now you don't think about when you vomit, you just do it. And that's what you need to do. You just need to sit down, you need to do it, but there's a way how to do it, which is step number two. Step number two is you get your phone or your timer or your watch and you set a timer for 15 minutes and 10 seconds. 15 minutes and 10 seconds, that's all you need to do. And why is it 15 minutes and 10 seconds? Well, because the first 10 seconds you were going to be sat there and you were going to go in, I don't want to write. I don't want to write, I've got nothing to write about, nothing coming to mind. And then when that 15 minutes clicks in, spring into action like a lion hunting a gazelle. That's actually a very violent image when you think of it. Don't do that. And during these 15 minutes, you literally, you write anything. You Your fingers don't stop for those 15 minutes, okay? And you will have times where you can't think of anything to write. And in those times, you literally write the words, I cannot think of anything to write. And the reason why you don't stop and the reason why you will find it difficult to start is because you are out of flow and your creative juices aren't firing. Think of it as an engine. If you have a car or you have an engine which hasn't been used in a while, it will probably need a bit of help to get going. You can't just get in the car, start the engine, and it runs perfectly smoothly. The same goes with your mind when it comes to creation. You're going to need a bit of time to get into it. It's going to be staggered and it's going to be difficult. And guys, that's perfectly fine. Those 50 minutes are counting down, but what you need to do is you need to keep that engine going. You need to keep the engine going and not let off the gas. You need to just write the words, I cannot think of anything to write. And what you find is because you are writing, because you are getting those creative juices flowing, you will see a story start to develop. You will get a little idea in your head. John went to the store. Then you'll think, oh, John went to the store. John bought a pack of cat food for his cat Guinevere. And then when he got home with Guinevere, then they went and watched the movie together because cats and people watch movies together in my head for some reason. Who gets a popcorn? What kind of popcorn does a cat like? I digress. That leads to step number three, is you do not stop writing until those 15 minutes are up. And like I said, you literally write the words, I cannot think of anything to write. If you can't think of anything to write, if you get a bit of a brain block, you write the words, I cannot think of anything to write, and you continue until those 15 minutes are up. And when you've done the 15 minutes, that leads to tip number four. And step number four is something very, very interesting. You set a timer for five minutes and you step up and you step away from your desk. And the reason why you step away from your desk is because then you are creating that dissociation in your mind. Of when you sit down, your brain goes, okay, now it's time to work. You don't sit there scrolling on your phone. You don't sit there watching me on YouTube. You don't do anything else when you're sat at a desk other than what you're supposed to do. You can get up five minutes and you can make a drink. You can have something to eat. You can call a friend and say, I can't think of anything to write. I've got some man on YouTube telling me what to do, but I can't do it. But for that five minutes, that is your brain having a break. You can have a relax. You can have a rest. And then step number five is, and you guessed it, you sit back down and you do another 15 minutes in 10 seconds. Again, 10 seconds to go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. 15 minutes are gone. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And when that timer is up, you have another five minutes away and you repeat as many times as you feel that you need to. 
And the purpose of this is to not write perfectly, it's to write something. And through forcing yourself to write something, it's much easier to get those creative juices flowing and it's much easier to develop a story. You can worry about the fine editing later. Right now, your job is to get that first draft down. Get from point A to point B. That is your task at this moment in time. To do the first draft, is not perfection, it's simply that, getting the first draft down, getting that story down. And this, guys, is how I managed to write so many words in such a short space of time. I have several projects on the go at once, and I'm able to dedicate, even if it's just 15 minutes a day on one project, that's 500 words, that's a 1,000 words more than what I didn't have the day before. And personally, as a pantser, I need that kind of rigid, explosive writing session in order to come up with ideas, because if I just waited for inspiration to strike, I'd never write a damn thing. For example, right now, I have a crime thriller which is currently on the go and in 10 days I managed to write 12,000 words. I also have a sequel to my novel, The Space Between Heaven and Hell, and that is on 6,000 words. And again, that's been in about two weeks. I also have a dystopian novel on the go. I have a ghost story on the go. And I'm able to do this, even with a busy day, even if you've got a busy schedule, you've got kids, you've got families, you've got a spouse, you've got a full-time job. With this simple technique of only 15 minutes, you are able to make regular progress at regular intervals and produce regular words and content. It's about discipline, it's about getting out of your own mind and not needing to be a perfectionist straight away, and it's about consistency. The biggest thing I can say to you people who are out there wanting to be writers and wanting to be creators of some kind, it's about consistency. It doesn't happen overnight and it isn't an easy process, but with consistent effort, I promise you, you will get there. But that leads me to my next point. If you do start to write a manuscript. You need to know how to write it. You need to know how to edit it. You need to know how to polish that beautiful, beautiful little manuscript you've got into a shining diamond, don't you? And if you click here, you'll be able to see the eight tips that writers don't do. For more writing advice or to check out some of my work, click the links in the description. I'd be more than happy to have you. Thank you for watching. See you later.